Welcome back to my dojo for high performance. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master App. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to find your reason for being. Now I really hope that you've watched the previous few videos in this playlist because everything we're doing is leading up to right now and it's gonna lead up to future videos. So we're stacking step by step by step to give you all the tools you need to discover cultivate and bring your gift into the world and that is what we all need i mean humankind right now the world we're in a place where we just need more joyful people giving their gifts and so that's what we're doing here so a quick recap in the first few videos we went over discovering that we all do have a unique gift yes every single one of us including you including me and that's why i make these videos because i love this stuff and this is my gift to give uh, we also went over how the subconscious mind ends up programming our reality. So the better our relationship with our subconscious mind, the better our life will become. In the most recent video, we talked about how specifically we program our subconscious mind, which is through our beliefs. Our beliefs create our reality. And so in the last video, we went ahead and we discovered what some of those beliefs that we have are. And so in this video, we're gonna figure out what do you want what do you want? Because once you discover what your beliefs are, you don't wanna just go create new beliefs. First, you wanna figure out what is your reason for being, what do you want? And once you figure out what you want and what your reason for being is, then in the next video, we can go ahead and start to create the new beliefs that align with the reality that you wanna create. Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I'm gonna shout out my meditation app. If you haven't grabbed it yet, I highly recommend you doing so. It's free, it's for iPhone and Android. It's linked in the description below. And the reason I created this app was to help you build your relationship with your subconscious mind. Because in these videos, this is more coaching, step-by-step -step strategy, tactics, things of that sort. Then we need to do some deep subconscious programming. And that's why I created that app. So, definitely go check that out if you haven't already download it it's linked in the first line of the description so we're here today to talk about your reason for being and specifically the word for this in Japanese is ikegai and I probably didn't say that right but this whole ikegai is something that I really like because it helps you bring together all the important components of figuring out what your mission is what your purpose is and it brings it into the real world so like how can you actually do this for work and I think that's important because I don't want to stand here and say, you can do anything you want in the world, pick anything. Like if you want, you can uh, you know, hang out on the beach and just count grains of sand. That's cool and if you really like it, that's awesome. And if you're passionate about it, that's great. But you're probably not gonna make much money doing that. I mean, maybe you can make a YouTube channel. In general, we wanna find something that hits upon all four major quadrants of the EK guy. So what this is, is a diagram showing you how you can bring together what you love, what you are good at, what you can be paid for, and what the world needs. And you can see how all these things come together and in the middle, that's where you have the EK guy. I will link to this in the description below, just it's available on Google or anywhere and you can download it for yourself. Even if you wanna download it and print it out, it's a cool thing to look at. And I would just brainstorm on this and play with it. There's no pressure in figuring this out right now, today, or even within the next week or month. But it's great to have this framework where you can begin to play and you can think to yourself, ooh, okay, well, I really like doing this thing and I can be paid for it. And you know what, I'm really passionate about it and actually helps the world. Oh, awesome. So maybe that's my thing. So here's what I recommend as a quick brainstorming exercise. Just write down 10 things that you know that you really already love. And if you have to force it and 10 is hard, that's okay. Put 10 things you really like then and start with the ones that you love on the top. And then make another list of all the things that you believe you're pretty good at. And you don't have to be world-class yet, but if you commit the effort and the action to it, you can become world-class and you can get paid for it. And you can probably get paid for it way before you even become world-class. So make a list of these things and then see which ones line up. Which ones are you really passionate about? Which ones do you love? Which things you're already pretty good at? And then see, okay, within those two things that line up, which things actually are good for the world? How can I make a contribution? And that could be even entertainment. You know, if you're just really funny, like we all need to laugh more, so do that. Or it could be anything, right? Entertainment is good for the world. 
teaching things is good for the world, creating things is good for the world, whether it's art or science or anything you can imagine, right? Just think about how this could be a contribution. Basically, I'm saying like, don't do something where you're an asshole. Don't go, you know, start robbing people and be like, oh, this is my EK guy. So find some of the things that line up in all three of those categories. And the fourth one be like, okay, what could I actually get paid for? Where, which one of these things I, could I make a living from? And please suspend belief because how I started to really make my living was through teaching jump rope. And that was not a thing before it didn't exist. And most people wouldn't think that like jump rope videos on YouTube could even make you a living. And I did. So whatever you are highly passionate about, what you love and what you're good at, I'm sure many of those things you can also get paid for because when you get good enough at something, there's going to be someone who wants to pay you for it. So to give you an example of how I am making my living now is through my, my main channel, Jump Rope Dudes. Uh, that's like kind of like my job in a way before this kind of takes over my life completely. And this job, Jump Rope Dudes, is a YouTube channel where I help many people, millions of people all over the world lose weight, so I'm helping people. Uh, I love it mainly because it's fun to make videos with my friend Dan, and it's a you know interesting topic to me, fitness. I like to help people. I'm good at it, and that's only because I practice a bunch. I literally did not know how to jump rope around four and a half years ago. So I kind of started, learned how to jump rope, and just kept rolling with it. So you don't have to be an expert when you start. Remember that. You know, we have over 500,000 YouTube subscribers now, and I did not really know how to jump rope when we started the channel. And then finally, something we get paid for. So we're able to make money because we're helping people on YouTube, and so we sell them jump ropes and digital programs. So just to get your, your wheels churning in your mind of what this might look like for you, because I want all this stuff to be actionable and practical for your life. That's what's most important because I want you to contribute your gift to the world, but I know you gotta get paid for it. So we gotta line up all four of these quadrants. So what I've done to help you discover what this could be for you was I've created a new guided meditation experience and I put it in my mobile app. And this is becoming the hub for a lot of the teaching materials that I'm putting in relation to this YouTube channel and the videos I'm making here. And the beautiful thing about this meditation app is when you download it, it's free, so you can try it out. But then when you subscribe, you basically get access to me one-on-one, -on -one, because these are the one-on-one -on -one sessions that I do with clients. So if I was gonna help a client discover what their EK guy could be, I would take them into a very relaxed state. I take them through a guided meditation experience to help them discover that. And so I put a session just like that in the app so if you subscribe for it it's available the final thing i want to say in this process is not something you would expect to hear maybe from a lot of other i don't want to say hippie because you know i'm a little bit of hippie but you know the people who are kind of far out there though they're just not fully stable in reality and they're they're detached from our real physical world and that is you need to be a little bit realistic you need to have self-awareness when you're going through this exercise. If you're 25 years old and you're five feet tall, do not say that you wanna be a professional NBA superstar. That's probably not gonna happen for you. Actually, I'll tell you right now, it's not gonna happen for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. And so you need to be realistic. And so there's a multitude of things that are possible. Almost anything is possible, but you need to get that self-awareness. What are you good at? right? Innately, within yourself, what are you good at? What do you like to do? What are your unique gifts? You know what they are. You've lived your life to this point and you probably see what comes easier to you, what you have more momentum with. So for me, for example, I would not go try to start programming computers because that's never come naturally to me. I don't really like it and I've always been terrible at math and science. So I'm not going to do that. I've been better at my soft skills, talking, writing, teaching. This is all the stuff that I love to do. And so that's why I'm playing in this world. And that's why I make these types of videos. And that's why I am not Elon Musk. So all I ask is that you use self-awareness when going through this exercise. And it's not being hard on yourself. It's not doubting yourself. It's just knowing who you are and channeling who you really are instead of trying to be something that you see on social media or you see on TV that's not actually in alignment with you and your gifts. Like I said, if you begin to get in alignment with your gifts and you start to tap into your reason for being, I believe that you can manifest anything you want in this world. And so in the next video, we're going to help you create the new beliefs that are going to align with your reason for being. So 
be on the lookout for that. Go ahead and go through this exercise. I highly recommend checking out the meditation app. Again, it's linked in the description below. And once you discover what this is for you, we're gonna go into that next video. We're gonna discover what those new beliefs are. We're gonna help you start manifesting it, creating it into the world. Thank you so much for watching this video today. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master F. I'll catch you on the next video.